Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video two of the Gas Venting with Tables series. Today we're going to look at tables C3 and C4 and figure out how to use them to size vents for multiple appliances. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA of Canada and I'm using the 2015 edition. If you have not watched the first video, you better stop right now and go ahead and watch it. Other words, this is not going to make any sense whatsoever. Now before we do any sizing, we need to become familiar with the tables. The tables will be different than the ones from the last video. The last video covered a single gas appliance. Now we're dealing with multiple gas appliances altogether. Turn to page 192 in your gas code to table C3. The title of table C3 says capacity of type B double wall vents with type B double wall vent connectors serving two or more category one appliances. Now let's compare that to the other table you're going to be using table C4 on page 204 of your gas code. Capacity of type B double wall vents with single wall vent connectors serving two or more category one appliances. Did you pick up on the nuance? C3 is for double wall vent connectors. C4 is for single wall vent connectors. That is the only difference, but it will affect your sizing. Tables C3 and C4 are laid out the exact same way. They are broken down into two parts. So let's look at that first part. It is entitled capacity of vent connectors. So we use this area to size our vent connectors. If we look in the far left column, we will see vent height in feet. Move slightly to the right, and we see the vent connector rise. Now this is different from the last video where we had the vent connector lateral. This is how much it rises before it goes and connects into the common vent. So if we turn to pages 228 and 229 in our code books, we're going to find some clarifying pictures for this. Let's focus on the one on page 228. This is figure C3, and this references table C3. Notice how we have two appliances here. We have the measurement H, which is the vent height. We have the measurement R1, which is the vent connector rise for appliance one. And we have R2, which is the measurement for the vent connector rise for appliance two. And of course we have the diameter for both of them. Now there is a special rule on how we measure the height of the vent. That comes from GVR C212. And it talks about measuring from the highest draft hood outlet or flue collar all the way out to outside air where we have our vent cap. Let's look back at table C3 in the appliance input rating area. It is laid out exactly the same as table C1 and C2 from the previous video. So I have the fan min max area, that is for sizing fan assisted appliances. And then I have the nat, max and DP area, which is for sizing draft hood equipped appliances, but we will never use the max column only DP, which means depressurized or airtight building. Well, let's look at the second part of table C3. That starts on page 200 of the code book. Notice how it is labeled capacity of common vent. So this is where we size our vent. If we look over to the left hand column, we're going to see the vent height, which is the exact same vent height that we use to size our vent connectors. But when we look off to the right, we see five other columns we need to identify. The first one we come across is fan plus fan. And we would use this column if we had multiple fan assisted appliances, but no draft hood equipped appliances. If we move one over to the right, we see fan plus nat with an asterisk. We will not use this column ever. This is for a loose constructed building. One over to the right again, we see DP F plus N. DP stands for depressurized or airtight building. F stands for fan assist. N stands for natural draft with draft hood. That means I'm combining fan assisted and draft hood appliances together. So that's the column I would use for that. The next column to the right says nat plus nat and both of them have the asterisks. Once again, this is a column we will never ever use. This is for a loose constructed building. Now the last one to the right is DP N plus N. So this is depressurized or airtight building with two or more drafted equipped appliances. So that's the column we use to size that. Well, we are at the end of this video, but stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna use these tables to size up some vents for multiple appliances. 
Until then, have a great day.